Hey, what's up, Fishaholics, and uh, welcome to New England. It's April 4th, and uh, and it's snowing. It's been snowing all day, and it's probably only around 28 degrees right now. And, uh, you know, it is springtime, and we should be having, you know, 50, 60 degree days at least, or at least 40 degree days. <laughs> and uh, yet we're getting um, a ton of snow. I think we've got about uh, four or five inches right now on the ground. And, uh, you know, I decided to come out here to one of my favorite reservoirs up in Massachusetts and give it a shot. It's uh, going to be challenging conditions, but I'm going to be fishing a spot where I caught a few smallmouth on some light tackle a couple days ago. And uh, I'm hoping those smallmouth are still there and hopefully I can connect with a few. So I'm obviously challenging myself today, but let's see what happens. Let's catch some fish. All right, Fishaholics, got a bunch of different setups here. You know, three of my top favorite setups. You know, I got a small little Lunker City finesse fish on an ultralight setup. Then I've got a uh, small little Bitsy Bug jig on a seven foot medium casting bait casting rod. And then I got a little Kai Tech Easy Shiner swim bait in Sexy Shad on my uh, little St. Croix Tide Master spinning rod. So uh, I'm, gonna ch I'm gonna start out with the swim bait and uh, see what that can do for me. All right, let's cast this out there. Got about a nine mile an hour wind coming out of the north right now. It's blowing the, the snow here across my face. So I'm, gonna, I'm trying to look that way so I don't get the camera all covered with snow. And uh, right now it's about 28, 30 degrees. And it's the beginning of April, which is kind of, you know, just messed up. But uh, I caught some smallmouth in this, you know, same location a few days ago before this big cold front came through. And the water temperature is still in the upper 40s, low 50s. So I'm hoping that, you know, these fish are going to still be in this general area. I'm dropping this little Kai Tech swim bait down near the bottom. And then I'm basically just gonna slowly work it up along the rocks along the bottom and hopefully there's a hungry smallmouth down there. I'm fishing about 20, 15, 20 feet of water. Oh, the wind's picking up a little bit. The water's nice and clear, which is good. So I don't think, uh, you know, the, the problem of visibility will be uh, a factor today. A little bit tougher conditions than I thought. This cross breeze is uh, really becoming a pain. It was supposed to be a south wind today, but I guess that changed. I, I used the fish weather app to kind of figure out what direction the wind was going. And it said, it said blown from the south, but you know, right now it's blown from the north. There he is. Ah, big pickerel. Damn, man. Thought that was gonna, or not a, not a massive pickerel, but it's a pickerel. Oh, come here, buddy. Oh, wow. He beached himself for me. All right, well, at least I got a fish. Just sit there, buddy. Don't hurt yourself. Okay. Chunky pickerel. First fish of the day. He pretty much followed that in right, right to the drop off. Not a bad fish. All right, let's get him on his way. There he goes. That was a hot pickerel, really hot pickerel. All right, well, at least I got one fish on the board. Let's, uh, let's try and get a bass. Once this little Kai Tech Easy Shiner swim bait is on the bottom, holy moly. Oh my God, that was from a plow. That's what happens when you're fishing next to the highway. <laughs> Woo! Good thing I have two layers of pants on. But anyways, uh, I'm basically just slowly fishing this little Kai Tech Easy Shiner swim bait right along the bottom. And I'm dragging it over the boulders too. Because with this sudden drop in temperature that we had, a lot of the bass are gonna be holding tight to the structure. Got my legs soaked pretty much, wow. Just missed the fish right there. Followed it in right on the drop off. Warming up my hands a little bit. I'm pretty cold right now. <laughs> I'm used to like 50, 60 degree weather and then all of a sudden it's like 30 degrees and my body isn't really, you know, adjusted to the cold yet. Oh, there we go.
there's a fish right there. There he is, fish on. Another big pickerel. Wow, it's a monster. Monster pickerel. An April snow pickerel. There we go. Oh, he's hanging by a thread. Bigger than my first one. Oh, come here, buddy. Oh, that's a chunk right there. Chunky, chunky pickerel. Just on that Kai Tech. Woo! Come on, buddy, let go of it. Ah, oh, yeah, man, that's a monster. Let's get him back in the water. There he goes, buddy. You guys are probably like, wow, this guy's nuts for going out in a storm like this and uh, trying to catch fish. But uh, the whole reason I'm out here because, uh, you know, obviously I felt like I could catch some fish and I have caught some fish, but I just want to show and represent that fishing during, during a storm is one of my favorite and, and it is one of the best times to try and target fish. It can be challenging like it is today because I have snow, obviously, and it's only 28, 30 degrees, but when the humidity slowly increases or it really rapidly increases, usually you can come out and fish during that storm or, or right before the storm or after the storm and you can put yourself on some decent fish like I like I have so far today I'm just looking for one bass today that's all I want to catch it really is cold and miserable out here what happened to spring I'm probably gonna end up fishing for like another 30 minutes or so and uh, you know hopefully I'll catch at least one bass and then I'm gonna get out of here There he is. Another pickerel. Wow. <laughs> I'm really killing the pickerel today. Oh, come here, buddy. Took my swim bait. There you go, buddy. I really don't even know why I came out here today. <laughs> like I do, but then I don't. I am freezing right now. My hands are numb, my nose is numb. All I want to just catch is one little bass and I'll be happy. That'll pretty much make it all worth it. All right, I'm gonna start working my way back. It's really coming down here good. I'm gonna look down so I don't get snow on the camera lens. I'm gonna put my hands in my pants to warm up a little bit. Hopefully I can get a small mouth on this last attempt. Oh, it's so brutal out here. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here. I give up. <laughs> I can't catch a bass today, I give up. I'm gonna head back to my car and go back home and probably have some nice uh, warm hot cocoa Anyways guys, thanks for watching Today uh, the simple setup I was using I had a bunch of different setups here But because it was snowing so hard and my hands were cold I really didn't want to change up and try anything different So today I was just fishing a 7 foot 6 medium to moderate action St. Croix Tide Master spinning rod rigged with a 2500 
Daiwa Laguna spinner reel, spinning reel and 10 pound test green moss power pro braid and a 12 pound test Seaguar fluorocarbon leader which then I tie direct to a small lead round ball head jig with a four inch Kitec Easy Shiner swim bait. And uh, you can see uh, all the tackle that I was using today down in the description below. And if you have any more questions, just please post a comment in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe. And as well, never forget, live to fish, fish to live.